The standards for caring for exotic pets, such as reptiles and other exotic species that are maintained in captivity, are the same as those for wild animals. This suggests that providing them with the appropriate level of care may be challenging. Before obtaining an uncommon pet, make sure you do a lot of research about it. It is possible that exotic animals have needs that are more complex than those of your average house pet. Even while it would sound exciting and interesting to possess a rare and unusual species, the fact is that these wild animals endure suffering throughout the whole of the process, beginning before you even bring them into your house and continuing throughout their lives in captivity. In this video, we'll take a look at keeping exotic animals as pets. Here are 7 reasons why you should never have a pet exotic wild animal. But before that please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to hear more from us. Let's get started with our video. Number 1. Natural creatures should be left alone in the wild. While domesticated cats and dogs have been adapted to live with people for thousands of years, wild animals are born to be wild. Many creatures have complex lives with complex social dynamics. Their normal behaviors in the wild just cannot be recreated in a confined setting. Even those reared in captivity have the same genetic features as their wild counterparts, making them unsuitable as pets. The majority of confined habitats are just insufficient for these creatures. Snakes are often confined in aquariums so tiny that they cannot flex their bodies. Parrots, who are seldom alone in the wild, are often housed alone in tiny cages. This is not the way an exotic wild animal should live. Number 2. Many exotic animals are still stolen from their natural habitats. There are a lot of animals who start out their life in the wild but then are cruelly and unexpectedly taken away from their homes and families to be kept as pets. The inhumane practices that are used to trap these wild animals are appalling. One example that is emphasized by the study done by World Animal Protection is the practice of using live bait to entice and trap wild macaws. The results of these investigations led to the discovery of a method that included fastening a living bird to either the ground or a tree, where it would serve as bait. The distress call of the macaw in captivity attracts the attention of other anxious macaws that were also kidnapped and taken from their natural habitats for the purpose of being sold into the exotic pet trade. Number 3. Captive, bred wild animals suffer in the same way. Although rearing animals in captivity is sometimes seen as a more humane alternative than capturing them in the wild, this practice nonetheless leads to a significant amount of animal suffering. Aside from the fact that wild animals should be kept in their natural habitats, some methods of breeding animals to produce offspring with attributes that appeal to consumers may have a negative impact on the animal's physical and mental health. This impact is particularly noticeable in snakes and other types of reptiles since there is an increasing desire for different genetically changed varieties, sometimes known as morphs. These well-bred reptiles often have neurological issues that have a detrimental impact on the animal's overall health and welfare. Number 4. In captivity, their needs are not satisfied. Captive wild creatures suffer. In a house, there is no way to mimic the space and freedom that wild animals need. A life in captivity inhibits an animal's natural behavior and jeopardizes both their mental and physical well-being. They often lack enough housing, food, space to wander, and control over their surroundings. An African gray parrot may fly up to 10 kilometers per day in the wild to forage and connect with their huge social network. In captivity, however, they are often relegated to a lonely existence in a cage. This is incredibly hazardous to their mental health. Many captive wild birds engage in feather plucking, a kind of self-mutilation in which they tear off all of their feathers. If you are enjoying watching this video, like this video and subscribe to our channel before moving further. Number 5. The exotic pet trade puts natural populations at risk. The growing popularity of exotic wild pets has put natural populations in jeopardy. As more animals are taken from their natural habitats, fewer individuals remain in the wild. Poachers take up to 21% of the entire wild population of African gray parrots each year. This is a species that is already on the verge of extinction. Despite the fact that they are currently protected from international commercial traffic, they are nevertheless endangered by active illicit wildlife trading. People are also increasingly interested in keeping otters as pets. Because of this demand, 
they are being forcibly removed from their homes. Poachers target the young and friendly otters, frequently killing their protecting parents in the process. Wild populations of smooth, coated otter and Asian small, clawed otters have plummeted by more than 30% in the previous 30 years as a consequence of this unpleasant behavior. Number 6. The exotic pet trade is deadly. These creatures endure lengthy travels to reach our homes, whether they are taken from their natural habitat or captive, bred. They are often transported great distances in confined confines, unable to move. Many will perish as a result of suffocation, malnutrition, or illness before reaching their objective. For example, 30, 60 percent to as much as 70 percent, 90 percent of African gray parrots die during shipment, and those who survive must spend days or weeks with their departed relatives. Mortality rates are estimated to be high throughout the supply chain, ranging from 5% to 100% for wild-collected reptiles and 5% to 25% throughout captive breeding procedures. An industry official said that a 72% mortality rate during an average six-week stock turnover is regarded industry norm. Number 7. They are capable of transmitting zoonotic infections. Wild animals may potentially be dangerous to human health. Every year, zoonotic illnesses, diseases that may be transferred from animals to people, cause billions of instances of sickness and millions of deaths. The World Health Organization, WHO, and the majority of infectious disease specialists think that future human pandemics would most likely be zoonotic, with animals emerging as the dominant source. Over the last several decades, 75% of new or emerging infectious illnesses have come from animals, mostly wildlife. SARS, MERS, Ebola, and COVID-19 are all diseases that originated in animals. Keeping a wild animal in your house might endanger your health. Exotic pet ownership has been connected to more than 50 illnesses. Exotic pets may spread a variety of zoonotic illnesses, including salmonellosis from hedgehogs and iguanas, ringworm infections from chinchillas, and more serious diseases like rabies from marmosets. This video has come to an end. If you find this video informative please let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel before leaving. See you in the next video.